Welcome to the Mini Corp Show, episode number three. I'm what? Gary V. Welcome to the Mini Corp Show, episode number three, where we are highlighting the risk takers, the real entrepreneurs, the people that are building kick-ass, profitable businesses. In this episode, we are highlighting fillit.ie. Let's do it. Most importantly, we're on a boat. We're on a boat also, which is deadly. <laughs> We are here with John and Gianni from Fillet.ie. Um, why don't you guys tell us all about Fillet and how it started? Uh, Fillet is an online platform for spaces. Um, since we're a marketplace where we bring uh, renters and listers of, of cool spaces together uh, into one platform so they can, uh, they can meet and connect. Sure. Cool. If I wanted to go and rent a space, would I actually rent the venue or is there smaller pockets of venue space that I could rent? Well, I think w what we've done with Fillet is we've, we've kind of built a tool that's going to empower landlords and the owners of spaces to determine how they want to rent their own space. Our key focus is uh, on those landlords uh, making the most of either unused or underused spaces. Yeah, yeah. So a, a great example of that is this, this venue where we're in today, yeah. Panish. Um, so this is, a, this is a barge boat um, and essentially this is a restaurant. We are actually on a barge. <laughs> it's brilliant. So this is essentially a restaurant most of the time, most evenings that, that sails up and down the canals. But here we are today doing a, an interview. Uh, this could easily be a film shoot or many other things. And yeah. That's really what, what Phil aims to do. So when you go on to fillit.ie at the moment, you see these stunning photos of all of the different properties and areas. How do you see that growing? later on how do you then facilitate that beautiful photography to grow organically or to grow with those new venue listings well at the moment we're working with a team of photographers and our, our core goal is is to obviously recruit spaces at this stage but we're trying to really look after the landlords make the best possible site for them and give sure. them the easiest uh, journey from where they currently are to go online to go on fill .ie. And in doing that, we're, we're offering them this photography. We're arranging for one of our photographers that we have around the country to go out to them and shoot it. Um, some spaces um, have their own photography, and that's brilliant too. Yeah. They're ready to go. They can go to the site, fillit.ie, and list straight away. Um, but we're happy to advise them on what we think is, is working best. Some brands, uh, we, can, we can monitor the site over time and see what's working and what's not working. So we advise uh, spaces to put up photos of their venue uh, when it's empty or their space when it's empty. So sure. exactly how the potential uh, tenant is going to find the space. So you may not want it full of people in, in the photo because that's not how the tenant is going to find it and it's going to look bigger when it's emptier and it's going to be Savage. more representative of mm. what the space is. Exactly. I love that. How did you guys come up with the name? <laughs> lots of meeting, lots of, lots of planning. There was numerous variations. And you know, with so many uh, like different websites and startups nowadays, you have to find something. It's hard. Like, it's hard to it find something that's good and something you can take ownership yeah. over. I guess it was just numerous, you know, brainstorms and just locking in a in a war room or whatever. But um, yeah, we're really happy with the name. Excellent. Um, it, yeah. it is what it says. So we take empty spaces. And we you fill it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And, that's, yeah. and that's essentially that's, it. Um, yeah. Uh, we, it, it's, it's descriptive, but that's exactly what we're doing. We, we, we see thousands and thousands of empty underutilized spaces there, and, and we're there to help fill them. How is the business funded so far? Has it been bootstrapped? Did you guys have to raise investment, or how did you take on that challenge? Yeah, uh, self self financed. Um, so Excellent. Pre previous endeavors in the business world have got us to this point. Um, yeah, so um, I we have. I love that. Like that is the way to build a business, though. Yeah. Like. People go crazy for this pre-seed and seed and, you know, raising capital before they're even out of the gate. Mm -hmm. Retain your equity as much as you can possible. Like, there's three things that an investor can ever bring you. Mm -hmm. First of all, that black book of contacts, you know, that I know this person or I can get you in there really, really quickly. The second thing is obviously cash. And then the third thing is the mentorship, the ability to kind of, I've gone through all of this before and here's mm -hmm. the right ways to go down. Probably the the least out of all of those things is the money. Yeah. So if you can find or hustle or get a way where you can get that that person on board to help with your company mm -hmm. and get a bank loan rather than actually getting investment, it's so much more beneficial. You retain your equity, yeah. it gets you over that hump for the first six to mm -hmm. six months to a year, yeah. but then you go straight into, you know, 
yeah. revenue. Yeah, many people take different approaches, but for us, we wanted a free reign to develop the business as we wanted to. Yeah. And we felt that if we, if we get if self-funded was, was the easiest way to do that. So we weren't uh, required to, to meet other people's commitments or um, and just exactly design, it. It, design it our own path and move forward from there. Yeah, make your own decisions. But yeah, if you own the equity and you own the, mm -hmm. the direction of the company, it's so much more beneficial. Mm -hmm. What we, is the sorry to continue to continue on that? Having that equity, you know, empowers us to do more than just to make make a successful business. Because ultimately, what we want to do is we, to get those spaces that are unused or underused. We want them to be generating something. Yeah. So if a space, it, it, um, someone has a space and they're happy for it to be let out for free, that's free to use. Fill it. We don't charge uh, a percent on oh, that. Okay. So it's quite important for us to to see spaces being regenerated, see uh, dead wastes of land or empty office blocks or empty buildings. That's building. a major thing. Yeah. So it, it's quite important, important for us as, as well to see those kind of things ha happening, you know. But help um, regenerate the city, yeah, any derelict and buildings. and The, the, the country, essentially, because we're, we're nationwide. Yeah. So it's not just Dublin. Um, so, yeah, that's really important to us. And we're, we don't have, uh, you know, investors buying in our neck saying that's not important to them. Revenue, revenue, but it's, yeah. it's important to us. So. Yeah. That's good. You're dead right. Okay, what is the quirkiest venue that you have listed? Oh. Uh, is, are, this is pretty can we, cool. Can we, though, yeah, like can we say that Le Peniche that we're on now? We we do have some really interesting ones. We have some we have some buses, a, a Citroen H van, one of those uh, Airstreams, uh, those old big American Chrome buses. Oh, we have yes. some really really interesting spaces that I'm not sure we can talk about yet because they're just yet to go yeah, on yeah. board. Um, uh, the cinemas. Yeah, there's, uh, there's there's some cinemas. There's nightclubs. There's empty venues. There's just some stuff that we'd love to talk about. That that's just on the like if you check probably back, back by the time this comes out, maybe or in a yeah, week or yeah. two, you can kind of be up there. One of the most understated things about Philip.ie is the fact that it unlocks a lot of potential when you're on the site. You're kind of mm -hmm. you're going through all these different venues and you're going. I could do something really cool with that, mm -hmm. which you would never have thought about before. How long since you're out of beta, or since people can start to book? Well, people can book actually while we're, while we're in beta mode. Uh, the reason that we still have the beta tags up there, and we're, we'll probably keep them up for another six or eight weeks, okay. uh, is because we're still learning from um, from, sure. the, from the landlords. So there's no amount of testing that we could do in house that could replicate the different needs of all the various uh, landlords that Absolutely. are on the site. So as I as mentioned before, you know every landlord kind of has their own different questions, and we're trying to solve as many of those. So when we kind of take the beta tags down. It, it, we're as robust as possible. We'll continue to grow, but we'll be as robust as we possibly could then. So the plans and the vision for the future. So beta tags coming down in four weeks or so. Oh, no, four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so we may, maybe it's six or six or eight weeks. But as I said, it's still working and people can book and talk to landlords straight away. Awesome. Yeah, um, we're doing a big launch then after that. Let's, let, we're going to shout it from the rooftops at that stage. Um, definitely. And then, yeah, just trying to get, spread the word and get into as many places as possible and get them up and live. Um, at the moment, we're just looking at, the, at within the country, and obviously, we believe that has a potential to grow outside of the country. But at the moment, we're, we're completely focused on Ireland. We want to get this up and running, make this a profitable working business here, and Excellent. let's see where it takes it from. So, for, certainly for the next few months, that's that's, that's what, what it's all about. Awesome. That and the product development. Perfect. Well, John, Gianni, thank you so much for coming on the Mini Corp Show. Um, onwards and upwards, and we wish you the best of luck with Philip. Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. Thank you. Okay, so if you are not already following us on Snapchat, go and follow us as soon as you can. We love to give away as much free advice and any learnings or things that we've taken away from building startups and building businesses. You can follow us by going to Brian B. Kenny. So that was episode number three of the Minicorp show with philip.ie. I'm Brian, we're Minicorp, and we're showing you the people that get shit done. If you're interested in being on the show, please hit us up below, send me an email or whatever you can do, and we'll get you on the show. Thanks for watching.